Hey, hey, welcome to some amazing examples of how to do video editing in iMovie. In this video, you'll see how to start a new project in iMovie, add footage, and edit it all together, of course. What you need to do first is open up iMovie. So go to Finder, uh, Applications, and scroll on down to iMovie. iMovie. There it is, iMovie. Comes it's alphabetical, of course. That should be easy to find. When you first open it, you'll see these two buttons up here. You'll see a media and a projects button. If you click on projects, that's where we can see the option to create a new project. So I just click on the create new button. It gives me the option to create a new movie. I'll click on the import media and I'll just navigate to where I have stored my video content. I like to keep my videos all in the same project folder. Here we go, I'll import this one. But I had some more footage that I wanted to import. We can do that a different way by clicking and dragging directly from the projects folder. I personally like this because I can highlight my videos and find them a lot easier. iMovie demo, video, and then I'll just scroll down to these two clips that I want. I can just click them and drag them over. Okay, so this is where all your media assets are kept. And over here on the right is where you can view the video. So down here is the timeline and this is where we're gonna put the videos. We can do that two ways. We can either drag each video down individually or you can select them all and drag them all down at the same time. As you can tell right now, all three videos are selected because they all have a yellow box around them. So I can reorder these by selecting one, picking it up and dragging it to whichever position I want it to be in. In this section is your zoom in settings. You can drag it to the right to zoom in and drag it to the left to zoom out. It's really good to zoom in so you can see what you're doing and where you're trimming. Down here is your cursor. So just move it to wherever you want to play your video and then hit the space bar it will start playing the video. You'll have to play your video back a few times to determine where you're starting or your end point is. I've already listened to this before so I know where I want this to start. Zoom in by clicking Command Plus and that way I can really have a close look at my audio WAV file and that helps me determine where I'm going to trim my video to. If you have a look over here where the audio WAV file dips down, that's where I know that I finished saying something and that's where I want it to start. So I just click at the beginning and drag my playhead to the right until I find that starting point. And the same here at the end, I can just see here where my audio has dipped and I can just click at the end and drag it to the left. Okay, so now I've trimmed each video and I have them all playing one after the other. So when I'm happy with my um, result with my trimming, we can export it. But if you're not happy with it, after you've played it all back, just go back into each area and have another listen. If you find you've removed too much of your video, just put your cursor at the beginning or the end and drag it to the left or to the right. And that's how you trim your videos. And for the next video, I'll show you where you can find some media footage that you didn't create yourself to add to the video. Adios amigos. Ciao.